Nicholas Cruz was born September 24, 1998 in Margaret, Florida. His adopted mother Linda Cruz was in the delivery room when he was born. She was filled with joy because it was one day shy of her 49th birthday. She and Roger Cruz had married late. He was 61 when Cruz was born and also had four kids from a previous marriage. Less than a year later, that same woman got pregnant once again, but by a different father this time. Linda and Roger Cruz were such good people that they didn't want to separate the two, so they adopted him as well, and his name was Zachary Cruz. They ended up having to pay $12,000 for Nicholas and $7,000 for Zachary, but when Zachary was born, their family was complete. Roger and Linda Cruz were described as good parents. They had a beautiful six-bedroom house, Roger was in the marketing and traveled a lot for business, but when he was home, it was all about the kids. Linda was a stay-at-home mom and was always involved in the boys' activities. Roger was described as a great dad, a golfer, a suit and tie kind of man. I mean, he didn't even own a gun. He even built a wing house for the boys, where they could have somewhere to play. They raised the boys as Catholics, they had their first communions and confirmations, but their once happy family took an unsuspected turn. When Nicholas was just five years old, he went down to the den with his father. His mother was in the kitchen when Nicholas came down the hallway crying to his room. Linda asked, what's the matter? Did daddy punish you? Nicholas replied, nope, daddy's dead. Roger had suffered a heart attack. He was 67 when he had passed away. After he had passed away, Linda sued two heart doctors and won the settlement for her two sons. Nicholas wasn't an easy child growing up. When he was just three years old, he was diagnosed with development delays. I mean, this kid was diagnosed with so many disorders and conditions depression, attention deficit, hyperactive disorder, and autism. His mother even told deputies that he was obsessive and compulsive disorder and had anger issues. He had counselors at school and at home. I mean, this guy was on so many meds. By the time he was in his late teens, he didn't even know how to do his own laundry. He was described as a mama's boy and a loner who didn't have any friends. I mean, the sad part is, his own little brother would bully him with his friends. I mean, to have your own little brother bully you it's pretty degrading if you ask me. Nicholas wasn't the best son growing up. His mother would call the cops on repeated occasions, 39 times to be exact in 10 years. When he was just 14 years old, he hit his mother with a plastic hose from a vacuum cleaner. And just a few months later, he threw her against the wall for taking his Xbox away. When he was 15 years old, he punched a hole in the wall when she took it away again. When he was in school, he was always getting sent to detention for foul language, insulting teachers, I mean, being disruptive and disobedience. This guy would disrupt the class so much that they had to change a middle school in 8th grade. He ended up having to finish his junior high in Cross Creek Middle School, which was a program for emotional behavior disabled children. Nicholas never wanted to be there. In January 13, 2016, the district allowed Nicholas to enroll in Stone Douglas High School. It was regarded as one of the best high schools in the district. Once Cruz was there, he immediately started causing problems just one month in. He had posted a picture on Instagram that he had planned to shoot the school. And in one incident, he was punched numerous times by a fellow student for using racial slurs. He even had to jump off the back of the bus to avoid getting beat up. Cruz was so depressed, he tried to kill himself just 8 days before his 18th birthday by ingesting gasoline and said he wanted to buy a gun. And just 5 days later, Cruz had posted a video on Snapchat of him cutting himself. He also had hate signs all over his school binder, including Nazi symbols and the words that said, I hate. Well, you know what the word is and I'm not going to say it. This kid was so obsessed with guns and people getting killed, he wasn't fitting in Stone Douglas High School any better than he was fitting in anywhere else. One of the students said she would treat him with kindness and let him use her cell phone to finish assignments. And one day he came to class holding his crotch. She said she looked down closely and saw him holding a dead bird near his genitals. He would always kill animals and post it on Instagram. In January 2017, he stopped undergoing mental health treatment and Linda Cruz sold their expensive home and moved Nicholas and Zachary to a smaller condo. A month later, Nicholas assaulted a kid at Stone Douglas High School and was expelled. Soon after, Nicholas was transferred to Broward Public Alternative School. And just three days after he was expelled from Stone Douglas High School, he went to a gun store and purchased an AR-15, the gun he used in the mass shooting. At the beginning of his senior year, Nicholas wrote on a Mississippi YouTuber's blog that he was going to be a professional school shooter. The blogger quickly alerted the FBI. Then in November, tragedy struck once again. Nicholas's only friend, Linda Cruz, had died of pneumonia. She was 68 years old. Cruz was devastated when she passed away. 
Him and his brother went to go live with a former neighbor named Roxanne as champs at her mobile home. And well, you could say Nicholas wasn't the modeled guest, quickly starting problems at his new home. Roxanne had to run errands, and Nicholas asked her to drop him off at a friend's house. And when she said no, he threw a tantrum and started punching the walls and throwing things. And when this champ's son intervened, Nicholas punched a 22-year-old boy in the face. Cruz then left the house, and once he did, she called the cops. Here's some of her 911 call. In the backyard behind the fence, digging for 15 minutes, and I, I'm positive that he hit, he hit a weapon. I'm positive that he hit a, a 9mm carbine in the back. He put the gun in the head of his brother before, so it's not the first time. And he did that to his mom. His mom died. And once Cruz left the house, he called the cops as well. Here's some of his 911 call. 911 emergency. Hi, um, I was just assaulted now. Um, someone tried to, someone uh, attacked me. A call for help in Palm Beach County. Um, I don't, I don't know where I am. I'm, right, I'm new to the area. Can I definitely get okay, back? Uh, the thing is, I lost my mother a couple of weeks ago. So, like, I'm dealing with a bunch of things right now. Once everything cooled down, Cruz went back and apologized and hugged his champ's son. And the family begged sheriff deputies not to take Cruz in, but he was no longer allowed to live there. A family in Parkland by the name of Kimberly and James Sneed took him in and allowed him to keep his guns as long as they were locked away. Once he lived there, he ended up getting a job at Dollar Tree that would carry cash on him at all times, but would continue to wear torn clothes. On January 5th, a caller called the FBI and said Nicholas had posted on Instagram that he wanted to kill people and she had feared for her life and others. She also stated that he had once pulled a rifle on his own mother. On January 14, 2018, Cruz told the Sneeds that he wanted to skip school because it was Valentine's Day. And at 2.06, Cruz caught an Uber driver to Majority Stone Douglas High School. The Uber driver said he was carrying a large bag but she didn't suspect anything because he had told her it was a guitar and that he was going to band practice. He arrived at Stone Douglas High School at 219. Once he got there, he went to the east side of the building and started loading up his guns. A freshman by the name of Chris McKinnon noticed him. He started to take the bullets and load in the gun. I froze. He then said to me, get out of here. It's going to start getting messy. Where was he loading his gun? On the stairwell, the bottom stairwell. He took it out of like a gun case that kind of looked like a guitar case. Why do you think he spared you? I don't think he was fully reloaded yet. I don't think his bullets were in. Once he was done loading up his guns, Cruz then set off the fire alarm and started shooting into four classrooms. He then took a stairway to the second floor and shot another student. As the students were going to lockdown to take cover in the classroom, some of the students jumped the fences and ran to a nearby Walmart. Twelve people were killed inside the building, two outside, one in the street, and two at a hospital. Once Nicholas gets to the fourth floor, he drops his backpack and his rifle and runs down the stairs and exits the building. Around 2.28, Nicholas leaves the building and begins to blend in with the students. He ends up going to a nearby Walmart and buys a drink at a subway, and then walks to McDonald's and orders a burger and eats it and leaves. A lot of the students identified the shooter as Nicholas Cruz, and once he gets out of the McDonald's, he walks out and a coconut police officer spots him, and notice he fits the description of the suspect. The officer approaches Nicholas and arrests him. He ends up having to be taken to Broward Health North Hospital because he had labored breathing. At 6 p.m., he ends up going to Broward County Sheriff's Office in the hospital gown and is escorted inside. And around 6.30, he tells police he is a gunman. The next day, Nicholas is held without bond. He ends up making his first court appearance via jail video. He had nothing to say except confirming his name and was charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. mentally disturbed, even expelled for bad and erratic behavior. Neighbors and classmates knew he was a big problem, must always report such instances to authorities again and again. We did, time and time again. Since he was in middle school, it was no surprise to anyone who knew him to hear that he was the shooter. Alright guys, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. If you have anybody else you'd like me to do next, go ahead and comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.